Welcome back, my friends. I'm Juliet, and today is Tuesday. This is our week three for our self-love yoga practice. So today I prepared the quote for you. I really love this quote. So this is the most powerful relationship you will ever have is a relationship with yourself. And again, let's just think about it. The most powerful relationship you will ever have is a relationship with yourself. So everything starts, guys, within. So let's begin this yoga practice today with that quote in mind. And let's begin, guys, in the simple deer pose today. So just put your one foot right up front of another. And the back leg this can be a little bit more farther away, closer away. The farther your feet are, it's a little bit more challenging for the hips. So maybe begin with the feet closer. Let's begin by lifting our arms up. Inhalation through the nose and exhalation through that nose. Let's set up our loving, nurturing intention for this practice as always. And let's do just one more time. Reach up and open. And this time draw those hands behind your back and just open up the heart, the chest, the ribcage. Just move for a few times. I hope guys you had a good Monday and we back for our Tuesday practice now. So please comment how did you apply our yesterday quote and let's take it back. Let's reach up guys and just simply fold forward. Just simply fold forward for now. Just spend a couple breaths up here. And then come back, return to the center. And simply, guys, look above the opposite shoulder. So if your front knee up here, we're looking right above the opposite direction. And let's give it a couple breaths, long extended spine, which just started. And take it all the way back. And let's simply, guys, switch the feet. Let's just wake up the hips and the lower back. Let's take a few arm raises up and down. Reach all the way up. And let's do just one more. And reach up and open. And let's set those hands behind the back. Okay. Open up that heart and just expand. Just stay here for a couple breaths. Let's dive inside. Again, reignite. Find that self-love within. No one else can give us that security, that loving sensation, unless we love ourselves. And let's reach up and open. And let's go ahead and just fold forward from this side. Just give yourself a soft fold right through the hips, guys. And just a couple more breaths up here. And back to the center. And let's go ahead and take the half spinal twist from the other side. Reach up and open, long extended back. Very good. And then gently return it back to the center. And let's find ourselves, guys, on our knees. Today, we will continue with the little up and down, cat and cow. It's a great, simple wake up for the back. If you just woke up especially and didn't do any exercises yet, and like, let's do a couple more, up and open. Let's do a few side to side. Please guys, let me know what's happened with you on the weekends and yesterday and Monday. How did you apply our quotes and what the self-love means to you? And once you start to think about it, what's the first thing comes into your mind? Keep on breathing. And all the way, tuck your toes. Let's go for the first downward facing dog. And for me, it always was shift your hips back, guys. Plant your heels or bend your knees and lift your heels if you are a beginner. And for me, it always was a challenging topic, the self-love. I was always looking at somewhere outside and I never really value a relationship with myself first. Let's go ahead, guys, and take the knees back on the floor and open up one more time so i really want to hear about your experience back to your downward facing dog guys all the way let's reach the right leg up and open and just draw your right knee to your belly 
let's wake up that body for good today reach up and open give me a couple more like this exhalation we all have our very unique journey through this life and it's very nice if we can wake up a little bit earlier than later from that sleep let's go ahead and stretch guys relax your neck and go ahead and take the left leg up and open draw that knee and just their belly take it back exhalation all the way draw that knee and chest their belly one more time guys big power flow today you reach up and open and extend plant that foot back relax restore let's send the knees back on the floor up and open couple more dynamic movements Again, let's think about that beautiful quote again the most powerful relationships you will ever have is relationships with yourself let's do one more and once you do that one arm let's sweep that arm underneath and just find thread the needle just waking up the shoulders stretching you can take your arm all the way above you know no one else ever including your spouse your lover your parents your kids can truly and fully walk in your own unique shoes so i think that's very true we have to nurture and develop those relationships with ourselves so let me know what do you think about it let's reach up a couple more times and then we're gonna do our it's the needle from the other side all the way up and open keep on breathing cover that ear with the arms support the both hands quietly on the floor just a couple more breaths dive inside keep on breathing growing nurturing that loving attitude towards ourselves towards our body towards our deeper self our mind and soul let's extend the knees one more time and we're gonna do a few dynamic touches today in through the nose and out through that nose relax your neck oh, feels so good body is waking up 10 minutes of yoga in the morning much better than cup of coffee walk with me to the plank inhalation through the nose exhalation through the nose and let's flow from the up dog or cobra if you need to take your hands a little bit farther away to the downward facing dog exhalation you can also do guys the tabletop instead of dog or cobra you don't have to go for the full cobra or up dog like i'm doing right now be very mindful about your back keep on breathing guys in through the nose out through that nose in a couple more times very good oh, and last one let's find ourselves back in the downward facing dog reach your right leg up and open expand extend and step to your pyramid pose today so both feet a little bit closer than our warrior one feet and gently fold forward in through that nose out through that nose keep on breathing very good and slowly reach halfway and fold forward again close your eyes connect reconnect with your body let's step back guys do the plank do your push-up or set your knees on the floor in through the nose out back and let's do the same from the other side lift your left leg up step guys to your pyramid pose which is a tiny little bit closer feet than the warrior one up and open let's fall forward and hold it just for the few breaths notice the differences in between right and left side of your body take your time lift halfway through one more time and fold forward again my friends just a breath or two and let's slowly step back to your plank push down chaturanga or use your knees on the floor downward facing dog relax restore release the tension 
Inhale, exhalation. Take those knees back up. Let's roll those shoulders. Open up through the chest with the ribcage. Just a couple more. And then reverse it, guys. All the way, cultivating that self-love, self-understanding, self-compassion to ourselves. If you won't do it, no one else will. And again, let's reach up all the way. Let's remember our quote for today and let's use it all day through. The most powerful relationships, guys, you will ever have, let's reach up and open, is the relationships with yourself. So let's put both hands up front of the heart, look inside that heart, cultivate that love towards yourself so you can give your love to others even more effectively. And let's flow through this wonderful Tuesday with open heart, with a smile and with self-love. Namaste. I will see you tomorrow.